Wind Hepper Jimmy from YouTube here. Um, today we're going to discuss pressure flaking and we're going to go over a couple different techniques. The first technique that we're going to go over is um, for copper pressure flakers on a braided platform and the second technique that I'm going to demonstrate is the one that I've been talking about which is a uh, non-abraded platform and I'm going to compare the differences so that my viewers can see exactly what I'm trying to um, put out there. So enjoy. Thank you. All right. I just grabbed an old biface. I made this a couple years ago, probably with um, copper bopper. But nonetheless, it's ready for some pressure flaking. And what I'd like to do, I want to go down one side with my copper tools and techniques and flake one side on actually flake both sides on one half of the point and then using my ishi tool and ishi techniques I'm going to do the same thing on the other side without abrading and what I'd like to demonstrate is the difference between not only the flake scar pattern but the sharpness of the edge and then I'll do a cutting demonstration at the end and we'll see the difference between the two and see which one's actually sharper. Alright, so the first thing I gotta do is I gotta shear this edge and bring this edge below center line. Now, with the old abrader stone, we need to set up a good heavy platform. Put a little bit more dust back on there for grip. All right, and now we'll begin our series. And there's the first pass. Looks pretty good. So that was the first pass on that side. Now we got to roll a piece over. Create a good heavy platform on this side.
second side pretty good now what we need to do is clean up these little deltas Oops, got a lip on that last one. Alright, so let's see how we did. It's very expedient with the copper and using a continuous platform that way. Saves a lot of time. Now on this side, on the other side, it's kind of hard to see under this artificial light, but the edge is kind of uneven so I'm just going to straighten that out just a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and beef it up just a little bit what I'm doing here is I'm just creating a little bit of a bevel to try to work into the meat of the preform. I'll take flakes off on one face and then flip it over and work it back try to get everything lined up. I could shear but doesn't take too much longer just to work it back just with the tip and get it exactly how you want it the exact layout now I am going to shear down a little bit and get those little sharp edges off right there okay now I got a good heavy edge on there Here's where the fun starts. All right, we can see how thick that edge is, and it's not right on center line. Some some of it's above, some of it's below. All right, I'm gonna take one flake down to get it started, and take one up, and the long one. down, one back, long one, one down, one back, no long one. And it's kind of hard to do that with the camera right here, like this. 